Once you're done watching this, you're not gonna need me again. Well, at least not when it comes to making fruit smoothies. Hey there, I'm Lennon Brazil, and you are watching Evolving Table, where we make good food that's also good for you. Like these five frozen fruit smoothies, which I'm going to show you how to make right after we learn the basic recipe for blending up just about any smoothie. The main ingredients and the amounts you'll need for 16 ounces of smoothie include two cups of frozen fruit or about 10 ounces. It's essential that you use enough frozen fruit in your smoothie to make it super creamy. Not enough and you'll end up with more of a liquid drink instead of a thick, slushy consistency. I tend to take the lazy route and just buy the frozen fruit at the grocery store. But you can also always freeze your own. Just make sure you freeze it for at least four to five hours before blending it up. Do not try adding in ice as a substitute. You'll end up with chunky bites of ice and watered down flavor. And a quick tip on the frozen fruit. If you pull it out about five to 10 minutes before making your smoothie, it will begin to thaw. This makes it so much easier for all of those ingredients to blend together. One cup of fresh fruit. Using a combination of fresh and frozen fruit is a little secret I like to use. Most other websites and recipes call for all frozen fruit, but what ends up happening is you get this big ol' massive chunk of frozen fruit that won't blend up, so you have to add in a bunch of milk or other liquid and you end up getting a pretty bland smoothie. So instead, using a mix of that fresh and frozen fruit will give you that nice, thick, slushy consistency while also packing in a ton of flavor. One medium-sized banana is just about what you'll need for the fresh fruit component. Half a cup of milk or another liquid. Unsweetened milk is a liquid of choice when making frozen fruit smoothies. It makes them incredibly creamy and also helps to balance out the sweetness of the fruit. Regular, oat, almond, cashew, soy, or even coconut milk may all be used. If you're out of milk but you still want to make a smoothie, you can try using orange juice, apple juice, or even water. Just know the smoothie will end up being a little more icy than creamy. One fourth cup of yogurt. I used to think yogurt was optional when making smoothies, but it's actually a pretty crucial ingredient. Its thickness adds a wonderful creaminess and it has a slightly tangy flavor that goes well with the sweet fruit. Plain, unsweetened yogurt or Greek yogurt is recommended, but you can always try using a sweeter flavored yogurt instead. Plant and nut-based yogurts also work great and can be used if you're avoiding dairy. One to two tablespoons of sweetener. Depending on what types of fruit you use and how ripe or unripe they are, you may need to add in just a little bit of extra sweetener. The best sweeteners to add into smoothies include honey, pure maple syrup, agave nectar, and even stevia liquid extract. If you're unsure how much to add, make your smoothie first without any in it and then take a little taste test and add in some additional sweetener. Remember, you can always add more, but you can't take it away. And any other add-ins? This is where the fun comes in. There are so many ingredients you can add to your smoothies that will really up-level their nutritional benefits. Nuts and nut butters, leafy greens, chia or pumpkin seeds, protein powder, fish or flax oil, oats, citrus, or even spices. Okay, you've got all of your smoothie ingredients. Now it's time to blend them up. The key to making a super creamy smoothie is that you need a super powerful blender. A Nutribullet or a Ninja are both great personal sized options. Their larger cups have just enough room to make a 16 ounce smoothie without going over the max fill line. A little bit of a splurge, but definitely the most powerful of the traditional blenders is a Vitamix. You can also use whatever blender you have available. While the ingredients of a fruit smoothie are pretty simple, it doesn't stop there. The way you blend them together is also crucial in getting that silky, smooth, and creamy consistency. For easy blending, you'll want to add your softer ingredients closer to the blade 
and the harder or frozen ingredients further away from it. As you can see with a traditional blender, the blade is at the bottom of the container. For this, you'll want to place the softer ingredients down first. So the milk, yogurt, fresh fruit, and leafy greens, followed by the frozen fruit. For a personal sized blender, the blade will be going on the top of the container, so you will need to reverse this order. Frozen fruit, leafy greens, fresh fruit, yogurt, and milk. The extra add-ins and sweetener can be tossed in at any time. And without further ado, let's see this magical formula in action with these five simple recipes. We'll be blending up a peach banana smoothie, strawberry kiwi smoothie, a tropical green smoothie, pineapple coconut smoothie, and of course we couldn't forget a mixed berry smoothie. Add two cups of frozen peaches, or roughly 10 ounces, one medium-sized banana that has been cut into one-inch chunks, one fourth cup of yogurt, half a cup of milk, half to one teaspoon of freshly grated lime zest, and one to two tablespoons of sweetener. Blend for one to two minutes or until it is smooth and creamy. Add two cups of frozen strawberries, two medium-sized kiwis that have been peeled and cut in half, one fourth cup of yogurt, half a cup of milk, and one to two tablespoons of sweetener. Blend for one to two minutes or until it is smooth and creamy. Add one and a fourth cups of frozen mango, one and a fourth cups of frozen pineapple, one cup of baby spinach leaves, one fourth cup of yogurt, half a cup of milk, and one to two tablespoons of sweetener. Blend for one to two minutes or until it is smooth and creamy. Add two cups of frozen pineapple, one medium sized banana cut into one inch chunks, one fourth cup of yogurt, half a cup of coconut milk, and one to two tablespoons of sweetener. Blend for one to two minutes or until it is smooth and creamy. Add two cups of frozen mixed berries one medium-sized banana cut into one-inch chunks, one-fourth cup of yogurt, half a cup of milk, one to two tablespoons of sweetener, and one teaspoon of freshly grated lemon zest. Blend for one to two minutes or until it is smooth and creamy. If you want a few more healthy ways to start your day, make sure you check out these other easy breakfast recipes. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one.